guys good afternoon how are you guys so yeah it's already 2023 so almost two months <laughs> okay guys uh thank you for subscribing my channel and yeah uh, i will just have a short uh tutorial right now so hopefully you can watch this and it's really very helpful i think if you are working with uh, internet application so we will get or we will connect to the active directory so we can get the information of the user for example i need the email address so how do we connect it all right so i will turn to my screen so you can see here guys now uh, this is just basically actually i already deployed this and test in our web server because my 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 local machine it's not connected to a domain active directory so why I, uh, I think i because uh, our web server we need to remote uh, remote so this is in hong kong data center so this is the api that i created so it returns now my email address so yeah so i will take a look on my visual studio i will show you uh, I need to close this one. This is my uh, web server. So here's my Visual Studio, guys. So uh, yeah, I have. Uh, this is my backend. This is my uh, web API. So this is uh, .NET Core three point one. On I have my Angular client to connect with this one. So recently I have a uh, issue or a problem because uh, I need to send a uh, by the way this is my this is my client side the angular okay so there are lots of yeah the services here so we're calling to the API services for example this one like that all right so so what I'm going to show show, show you is how to we get the ML address and uh, 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 connecting to the Active Directory. So this is in my local machine. So my machine is not connected to the domain. So that uh, that's why, as I shown you earlier, I I, I show you the web server where it connect to uh, the Active Directory. So basically, guys, uh, in my controller, this is my user controller. So this this part is not working. So I know. I will remove this okay and this one also maybe i can just say get email address like that so yeah uh uh i'll find a i'll find a tutorial or a article that in that need framework is easy to use the what the what's this the name this or that uh I forgot, but it's already, I think, I have, how to connect to LDAP in .NET Core is just easy because you just add the reference, the, I forgot the reference name, space name, but it's there. Uh, but in .NET Core, uh, it's not working, so that's that services or that uh, reference or that name, this is not working. In .NET Core, there is a Microsoft Windows compatibility. So this is where you can connect to the LDAP. So first and foremost, you have to uh, install this package, Microsoft.Windows.Compatibility. And then after that, in my, I have helper here, the user helper. Okay, so to get the current email address, of course, uh, this one, get the current plugin name, username. So the, to, to get the current email address of that user, so I have my function here. So I have to pass the username, which is coming from this, from the Windows authentication, and the domain name. So for example, what's your domain name? And the domain name, I just put it in my app, app setting. So you can see here in my app setting. So there are lots of, uh, for example, this domain name is this v.com like that. And then, yeah. So principal context, so this is in, the name piece for this is, the, the earlier that I said to you, the directory services that account management. By the way, this directory service is working in .NET framework, but uh, .NET framework, but in .NET Core, it's not working. So 
there is uh, another version that Microsoft offer. This is Microsoft that Windows compatibility, and you can have that system that directory services account management, which allow you to query all the information in the LDAP or Active Directory. I mean Active Directory. LDAP is another protocol to connect to the Active Directory. But this one we are just using, uh, for example, this one. The context that we have, the variable is principal context, the context type, we have the domain, and then you pass the domain. So this domain, of course, I, I put that in my app setting. So there are lots of context type here, for example. I, I, I'm not the active, active application directory. So I just interested in domain because my current uh, issue or problem is I need to get the email address of the login user because I will be sending a notification like that. So I want, I want to get the email address. Okay, just for now, that's that's our concern. Maybe later we get uh, uh, the roles or if that is where it belongs that user because there is some functionality as well that I need to do it. For example, if this user is belong to this certain group, he cannot access this service or this, with this, this part of the web page. And if this for the general user, then he can access like that. But later on, so this is the main concern now that I need to get the email address of the login user. So when we launch our application or web application from Angular, it will connect or it will get automatically the a login or the Windows Windows username because this is a Windows authentication. And then we want to get the email address because we will be sending an email notification. For example, the user that submitted already a request because this is a, a request form entry, then we will email them. So to get the email address, this is the the function that I written. So usually I also oh, I also got some some information in the website in the article that I wrote. I I able to read it earlier. So yeah, they have mentioned that it done it for it will use this um, Microsoft that Windows that compatibility because the previous one is not working in that network, but it's working in that net framework. All right, so find the identity, this is the context, which is this one, and the username. So username, we get it from here, the principal. And then, yeah, so we just return the username, that email address. So basically, that's that's it but if you i run this in my in my local machine i cannot get because i am not connected in the in the domain dsb.com <coughs> right so in my controller i just oh, first and foremost i have to uh, inject uh, the configuration so i can get those up setting so this is i configuration and okay, inject in the constructor here so we can use now the config that domain so it will give you the value of the domain that we set in the app setting and then yeah the user username we get it from the uh, this windows username it's typical take this is also in our our helper class this one so basically this using principal so i principal not the principal of the school <laughs> okay so get email so it will return your email address now in my where part that I can get the email address. I can, I mean, I, from this API, I can get now the email address. So from my front end Angular, I just call this API endpoint, and now I can get the email address, and I, I can now send, yeah, so I just deployed it. So I, 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 earlier I shown to you that it's querying, but from here it cannot be, it will be null because as I said, I'm not connected to this the domain all right so basically just very simple or very uh, quick quick sharing guys if you are looking for something like this that you are in, uh, creating a application or Windows authentication that you get already the username and you want to get the corresponding email address of this username so that's that's the way how we do it so hopefully it will help you as well if you are looking for this. So when I execute it, it will go here, but uh, it will return yeah, username the username. The username is 
my name but it's in my laptop so i'm not connected to a domain you can set the domain in, from here in I, I set the domain because it will be deployed in the dsp network so dsp.com so basically in my local laptop it will not work because i'm not connected to the domain So it will have an error. Is that this still working? System that director service account management. The server could not be contacted. Yeah. That's that's normal because we are in my local machine. But in my my web server or here in the DSD web server so this is in a global desktop so yeah this is the email address that's the deploy so I can get now txt that is in so that's my email address this is the server that I just configure or it's not showing well anyway this is out of topic so the goal is just to get the email address from the current user Login. So that's guy. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from that. And then, yeah, of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified on the previous, previous. I mean, uh, and upcoming, upcoming solution or coming uh, tutorials that we can share to you guys. So sharing is, sharing is not not sharing is good. Sharing is caring. So sharing is. <laughs> yeah, happy sharing, happy learning, guys. So, bye bye for now. Thank you.